Moen offers a wide range of showering options to fit the needs of every consumer. The Annex shower rail was thoughtfully designed to make any installation easy, whether it's a remodel or new construction project. Annex can mount directly to a flush wall or a wall with an offset of up to one inch. In this video, we'll demonstrate how to install the Annex shower rail on tile and fiberglass surfaces. Step 1. Preparation Gather the right tools for the job. For safety and ease, Moen recommends using a drill, various drill bits, adjustable wrench, Phillips and flathead screwdrivers, level, plumber's putty, sealant, thread seal tape, a pencil, and safety glasses if desired. Before getting started, shut off the main water supply. Step 2. Install the upper mounting flange assembly. Start by removing the existing shower head, arm, and flange. Wrap thread seal tape clockwise around the elbow adapter. Then thread it into the existing elbow and tighten with the provided 732nd inch hex wrench. Slide the upper mounting flange over the elbow adapter. Position the holes at either 1 and 7 or 5 and 11 to avoid any interference behind the wall and mark them. Before drilling the holes, remove the elbow adapter if necessary. Drill two pilot holes with a 3 16 inch drill bit to determine what's behind the wall and wall thickness. If you drill into a solid wood cross member, re-drill the two holes through the front surface of the wall with a quarter inch drill bit. Reinstall the elbow adapter if necessary. Slide the upper mounting flange over the adapter. Secure it in place with the included wood screws. If there isn't a cross member and the wall is less than 3 8 inch thick, re-drill the two holes with an 11 16 inch drill bit. Insert a quarter 20 machine screw into each hole in the upper mounting flange and thread a spring nut onto each end. Slide the upper flange onto the adapter and insert the spring nuts into the wall. Then tighten the machine screws to secure the flange in place. When the flange is secured to the wall, unthread and discard the alignment sleeve. Apply grease to the O-rings on the elbow adapter. Slide the outer shank over the adapter and thread it into the upper mounting flange. Then secure it in place with the provided 5 8 inch wrench. Step 3. Install the lower mounting flange assembly. Apply grease to the O-rings on the outer shank. Then slide the top of the shower rail onto the shank. Level the shower rail. Position the holes in the lower mounting flange at 3 and 9 o'clock to avoid any interference behind the wall and mark them. Remove the shower rail from the upper mounting flange assembly. Drill two pilot holes with a 3 16 inch drill bit to determine what's behind the wall and wall thickness. If there isn't a cross member and the wall thickness is greater than 3 8 inch, re-drill the two holes with a half inch drill bit. Insert a zip toggle into a hole. Align the two ends and pull toward you as you slide the zip guide tight to the wall. Then bend the legs and break them off. If necessary, trim the plastic ends so they're flush. Do the same with the other hole. Slide the shower rail onto the outer shank and thread the two quarter 20 machine screws in the lower flange.
Make sure the rail is level and secure it in place. Step 4. Install the trim. Loosen the swivel nut on the lower flange using the provided wrench. Then remove the shower rail from the upper flange. Apply a light coating of grease to the O-rings on the outer edge of the upper and lower mounting flanges. and the O-rings on the inside of the upper and lower escutcheons. Make sure the up symbol is facing upward as you slide each escutcheon onto the shower rail. Thread the mounting nut onto the lower fitting of the shower rail until it bottoms out. Slide the shower rail onto the outer shank, then align the bottom threads of the rail with the swivel nut on the lower flange. Tighten the swivel nut with the provided wrench until snug. Then the mounting nut to secure the shower rail to the wall. Notice the notch on each escutcheon. It should be facing down as you push the escutcheons over the upper and lower mounting flanges. Partially thread the set screw at the top of the rail with the provided 8th inch hex wrench. Make sure the rail is level front to back and tighten the set screw to secure the rail in place. Wrap thread seal tape clockwise around the threads of the shower arm. Then thread the arm into the shower rail. Insert the screen washer into the hand shower hose elbow and thread the elbow into the bottom fitting of the shower rail. Attach one end of the hand shower hose to the elbow. and place the other in the slide bar cradle. Then apply a sealant around the outside of the escutcheons. For your convenience, any type of shower head or hand shower can be installed on the shower rail. Congratulations, your job is finished. Installing the annex shower rail is fast and easy with Moen. Servicing the Annex Shower Rail Diverter is just as fast and easy with the Moen Diverter Service Kit. Start by removing the diverter handle cap. Unthread the handle screw and remove the handle. Slide the lower escutcheon away from the flange. Unthread the mounting nut with the provided 5 8 inch wrench. Then the swivel nut to release the bottom of the shower rail. Remove the set screw at the top of the shower rail using the provided 8th inch hex wrench. Slide the shower rail from the wall. From the back of the shower rail, use the provided retainer nut tool to unthread the retainer nut clockwise. Turn the shower rail over and push the diverter out. Insert the new diverter into the rail. Push it into place and remove the retainer sleeve. Reinstall the retainer nut by threading counterclockwise. Position the shower rail back on the flanges. Tighten the swivel nut and then the mounting nut. Push the escutcheon so they're flush to the wall. Make sure the shower rail is level and tighten the set screw to secure it in place. Reattach the handle and handle cap and you're done. If you have any questions about Moen or any of our products, 
please call Moen Consumer Services.